All right, good afternoon, everybody. Um, Ando Star Saver here again. I'm going to go ahead and go over something that you, a lot of you are probably running into already, especially those of you who gravitate in your arenas somewhere between 250 in your arena rankings. So what I'm going to go over right now is the Jedi Knight Revan previous meta squad that a lot of people are using. A lot of people, you probably have that team available and you're probably wondering how to do use it to get yourself a win i'm going to go ahead and show you some options here so first of all i'm going to look at modding now my generator revens gets a lot of speed here i try to do it so he gets to be the fastest character in the lineup and for the most part that's true some people have better mods than i do i have a speed set and a uh, potency set that happens to have a lot of speed on it individually now, those of you who can do a little better, absolutely. Go ahead and throw as much speed on your Jedi Knight Revan as you can muster. Now, if you can get other things like survivability and offense, great. Do it. But definitely get the speed as high as you can get. Now, next key thing of a Jedi Knight Revan team is your Grandmaster Yoda. Grandmaster Yoda is there to be your heavy hitter. And that's the basically how you want to mod him. Now, I use a crit damage and crit hit set. And the key here is it's got some speed. I mean, he does great with 271, not as good as, say, for instance, Jedi and Revan. But the key thing here is getting your crit, your, uh, crit chance and your offense values as high as you can. So as you can see here, for physical offense, I'm doing about 3,300. And for uh, special offense, I'm sitting near 5,500. Now, one option that's available, considering that Jedi Knight Revan teams are very high in crit immunity abilities, you can forgo the crit chance abilities and the crit damage and instead focus solely on offense and maybe get a little higher. <clears throat> but that's totally up to you and how you do it. Um, I keep the crit chance and the crit damage higher specifically because I want to make sure that it's viable against many different teams. The next key thing here for your Genevieve Revan teams is your Bastila Shan is often present. Now here, survivability can be a key thing. So you can see I put a lot of tenacity on her. So she's actually got pretty tanky stats right now. She's got almost 100,000, actually a little over 100,000 combined health and protection. So you can see she's built like a tank. Pretty good speed at 243. Um, pretty good potency, pretty very good tenacity. Has some crit damage as well and some crit chance. Not super high damage and um, special damage, but really that's not her primary role. Her primary role is giving a, a lot of buffs over to Grandmaster Yoda and keeping a lot of buff blocks up on some of your other uh, members here. Now, another key component here of this team is Jolie Bindo. Jolie Bindo is primarily there to keep your team alive. So you wanna make him as absolutely tanky as possible. So now you can see with my stat um, build up here, He's also very tanky, close to 100,000. Actually, not quite as high as Bastila, but uh, you also want him to be fast because you want him to be able to go off and, and bring up any fallen Jedi that happen along the way. Don't need to worry about crit damage, your, your damage too much. I mean, go with what you got. Um, but try to make him fast and try to make him tanky so he can take a lot of those hits and... Also keep his tenacity high so he doesn't take a lot of buffs, especially buff blocks himself. Now, also on your team, you can go with a lot of options. There's Chewbacca. If you do Chewbacca, you want to make sure you put as much crit and as much uh, crit damage as possible. Right now, I'm not using him actively, so I don't really focus him here. But what's nice about Chewbacca is Chewbacca gives the option to assist Yoda Every time Grandmaster Yoda attacks, especially since he does multiple attacks in a row, Chewbacca will lend a basic attack. So you want to go ahead and consider that. Another option here, depending on the circumstances, is going to be your General Kenobi. 
general Kenobi, you want to be tanky, you want to be have good tenacity, you want to have good speed, hit bottom accordingly. So I do all right here. Again, close to 100K health and protection combined. Um, pretty good speed on him. Um, not a lot of uh, damage stats, and really that's not a big deal. If you can get a little bit of damage on him, great, but he's there primarily to take a lot of the hits. And you don't want him to get... Uh, things like buff blocks, anything like that, because you want to be able to taunt and keep the heat off your other tunes. Now, next you can consider here is also, uh, we'll find him real quick, Jedi Knight Anakin. Jedi Knight Anakin used to be fantastic on this team. Unfortunately, there's recently been a nerf in that when he does Righteous Fury, even with a Zeta, it only uh, adds 100% more damage if all allies were Galactic Republic. So this used to be able to just smear your Darth Revan teams with Malak every time he used it. Now it only gives you the 100% turn meter, but it doesn't give you that extra 100% offense. So it it's not as hard as I would like. But if you do put the uh, mods for uh, Jedi and Anakin, Really, what you're probably wanting to do is your crit damage and your critical hit capabilities. Now, last in this uh, lineup you can also use is going to be your Grandmaster, or your Hermit Yoda, not Grandmaster Yoda. You, you already talked about him. For him specifically, you're just going to want to focus speed, speed, speed. You can get some survivability in there. This one I actually have a little bit faster than Jedi Knight Revan, and if you got him full uh, gear 12 plus with good mods, that's very possible because his base speed's also a little higher. So that's kind of the general teams you can use out there that are typical. I'm gonna go ahead with the standard basic lineup of, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my Thrawn out of there because we're not using him right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put in instead my general Kenobi so we have a mirror match. Now, the idea here is you can go one of two ways here. A lot of this will happen to do with whether or not you have a faster rev, Jedi Revan or they do. In this case, I do. Now, two options for the initial attack here. When you use your direct focus ability, you either want to go towards Jedi Knight Revan or Hermit Yoda, or not Hermit Yoda, Grandmaster Yoda. Either works. In this case, I'm going to go for Jedi Knight Revan. Not super tanky typically, and it will also cause his direct folks to go on cool down and keep that off of you for a little bit longer. Now, as you can see, we've whittled him quite a bit down. We're gonna go ahead and just keep on banging on him, trigger savior as quickly as we can, because we wanna make sure we go and trigger that, and we're gonna do that right here. Now, once that's done, you can see now they direct focus my Yoda. I haven't triggered my savior yet, but that's probably coming. Grandmaster Yoda is not notoriously tanky, but we're going to go ahead and work on General Kenobi here. Sometimes I like to uh, go ahead and do the counterattack here. That will cause a lot of mass attacks back on your opponent there. You can see that's what's going on here. Sometimes you can bring up your own Grandmaster Yoda before our Savior's triggered. In this case, we did not. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and keep working it here. So now that Grandmaster Yoda's down, I'm going to go ahead and toss the turn over to Jolie Bindo, bringing my Grandmaster Yoda back up. That way he's back in the fight. Hopefully he'll survive. Okay. Fortunately, we got that Kenobi taunt up there. That's keeping my team alive a little bit longer. Go ahead and just clear the foresight on Jolie. Going to start working Jolie Bendo now. Take that resurrection away from their team as quickly as we can, if we can. Hardest thing about these battles, and I'm going to probably stop talking here in a little bit, is you can time them out easily just if Jolie Bendo takes way too long to kill. We're going to keep working him right now. Now that I've, I have the strategic advantage, I can go ahead and splash the whole team there because now Grandmaster Yoda will not cause a counterattack with that. Now, unfortunately here, could not take out Jolie Bindo, and sometimes he counterattacks, but just keep working. 
Okay, now I got my direct focus up. That will help things considerably. Okay, now we have our Jolie window out of the match. Going to keep on working, look for holes, look for holes in foresight, things like that. Try to work that team down a little lower. Okay, go ahead and steal some buffs. They'll all flock to Bastila, which is fine. Not too worried about Bastila right now. Okay, go ahead and work on Great Grandmaster Yoda. Finish him. Now we're pretty close to going on auto at this point. Seem to work on getting it revving a little bit. Throw up the counterattack. Keep working the Jedi Knight Revan. You can see here with Grandmaster Yoda and Jedi Knight Revan, I like to keep trading that uh, strategic advantage ability. Since they're both very fast characters and go off, and you can kind of do a lot of turn swap. And as you can see, that wasn't too bad. It was a pretty painless battle. They gave me a tougher fight than they do sometimes, but uh, all in all, that was a pretty good match. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you uh, with the next video.